I'm excited about tonight's Rip Off of the Week segment. My name is Adam Anjievsky. I'm the CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com. Thank you very much for joining us. You know our mission. It's every dime online in real time. And we do this so you can follow the money. And so we, together, locked arm in arm, can hold the political class accountable for tax and spend decisions. And last year, our team of auditors, we filed 41,000 Freedom of Information Act requests on the 50,000 most, 50, most substantial public bodies in this entire country. And we compiled, for the first time in the nation's history, virtually every single salary and pension record of every public employee at every level of government across the whole country, and that's federal, state, and local. So you can come to our website at openthebooks.com, no matter where you live in the country, and we'll probably have nearly everybody employed by government from your local uh, units of government. And today we're investigating Texas, and boy, do we have a great show on this week's Ripoff of the Week. And with that, I want to introduce my co-host, Tamara Colbert. Hey there. Good evening, Adam. We are going to get right into it. We've got so much data that we're going to just give what we can, like shooting out of a fire hose. Texas, everything is bigger in Texas, including salaries. So let's kick it off. Open the books investigation on Texas. Tell us about the $34 billion state bailout. And let's start with the city managers. So in Texas, as you correctly point out, everything's bigger. And what we found on our investigation was 78,000 public employees at every level of Texas local and state government earn more than six figures. And they cost the Texas taxpayer last year $12 billion. And we found supersized salaries in the city managers, in school superintendents, in state staffers, and other public servants across the entire state. So what are we talking about? What is a salary for say a, a city manager that you found? I know there's a couple that are just way out there and so outrageous that it literally can compare to California, New York or Illinois. And surpass them. We found some of the highest salaries for city managers in the entire nation based right there in Texas. In 2018, San Antonio, their city manager made $578,000, and that included a $106,000 bonus. San Antonio, we found in the data, there's six assistant city managers that make between $230,000 and $270,000 a piece. For crying out loud, their library director last year made $202,000 in San Antonio, and she out earned every single federal bureaucrat at the Smithsonian Institution and the National Archive. Okay, so city managers, I think there was one city manager that ended up with an $800,000. From what, from what city was that? So in 2019, the most highly compensated city manager in the country also came from Texas, in the town of Laredo, Texas. And according to the data they provided us on our Freedom of Information Act request. And I confirmed on a phone call with the city's PR chief last year, he pulled down $880,000 on the way out the door toward retirement. We took a look at the last three years of city manager pay in the town of Laredo in the city. And it was $1.85 million was poured into that position. That's unbelievable. Obviously, this is something only the people in those cities uh, can make a difference. But you found a lot of this uh, kind of fat also with the K through 12 school superintendents. What did you find there? Well, we found a four hundred thousand dollar club and the supersized salaries of Texas school superintendents. Uh -huh. Six of them are in that club. Uh, all the way up to four hundred and fifty two grand uh, in that school district. Uh, it was uh, in the Carroll Independent School District where the school superintendent made 452. And Tamara, I want to put that in perspective. Mm -hmm. At the federal level, a cabinet level position, the secretary of the U.S. Department of Education, Betsy DeVos, she, she made $199,400 last year. And this guy's making 452 grand. It's, it's totally outrageous. And you're finding that also not only limited to K through 12, but also our colleges and universities here in Texas have some out besides the coaches. Let's talk about universities. 
Well, I think the people in Texas need to start holding folks accountable mm -hmm. for tax and spend decisions. The chancellor of the Texas State University system made $1.1 million last year. It's a tremendous amount of money. It's six, it's five times five and a half times what Betsy DeVos made as the education secretary. I think in Texas, you've got the University of Texas uh, at Austin campus where there was 3,400 six-figure salaries last year. For crying out loud, you got the speech writer to the University of Texas Austin president who made 140 last year. The communications chief at the school made 251,000. And then we found a diversity provost made over 280,000. And Tamara, I wanna put that number in perspective. A four-star general, very unique, in the United States military, makes 268 grand. No wonder tuition's out of control. When a diversity provost makes, out earns a four-star general in the US military. Things are definitely backwards. Now we've got to end. I know we're trying to keep this short. This is a lot of information for our viewers, but it's really important to get them started so they can go to openthebooks.com and then look at the full report and access your Forbes article. But what about Texas state bureaucrats? We have to end there. <laughs> so uh, Texas state bureaucrats, um, uh, in in the Texas government, you've got executives that are just knocking down a tremendous amount of money. Most of them are running the pension plans. And so you've got uh, Jerry Albright, the chief investment officer, uh, and Eric Lang, the senior managing director of private markets at the teacher's retirement system. They made 800000 and 750000 collectively. And look, uh, that should drive teachers crazy in Texas because uh, that's more money than the chief investment officer of CalPERS in California that runs one of the largest pension plans in the world. Well, Adam, I think you, there's a word that you keep using, which I think you need to clarify for our viewers. And that is you keep using the word executive when referring to public service. Can you, t servants, can you kind of share with us how this has kind of gone astray with this kind of language and describing these public servants? Yeah, look, they're, they're administrators, they're managers, they're not executives. Executives historically in America have described the private sector executives that head up private sector businesses. These are managers and administrators because they coerce their revenue. Uh, in the private sector, you've got uh, creative destruction. Companies have to stay relevant. Most of your Fortune 500 every 50 years disappears, and that's why they're executives and make the big dollars. In government, a unit of government, never goes away and they coerce their revenues from taxpayers so they're not executives uh and this just goes to show you how far we've come on true public service in this country the whole concept is being ripped and teared and shredded and taxpayers are footing the bill and and texas obviously is one of the biggest offender with these kind of salaries i think what's important is for the audience to know is that they can support open the books more donations equal more investigations. That's what's really key here. You guys can find all of this information that Adam is talking about at openthebooks.com. Please go there. Please look and see what we're doing. And please make a donation to help continue this fight for taxpayer transparency. So you have all the facts and you can go to your local officials and just say no. Adam, this has been a really great segment. This is a lot for people to digest. We've had some good comments tonight. You want to close it with anything? Yeah, just come to the website at openthebooks.com. Read the article that we posted at Forbes, Why Texas is in Trouble. Thanks, everybody. This has been Rip Off of the Week, sponsored by openthebooks.com. And we can't wait to see you next Thursday night at 6 p.m. for another shocking or maybe not so shocking segment. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.